Are you having trouble playing lip slurs on your trumpet? Don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to play your trumpet easier right now. Hi, my name is Chris Davis. Welcome to Trumpet Lessons HQ, where I give you tips, encouragement, and demonstrations so that you can learn how to play trumpet easier. If you like the sound of that, go ahead and press the subscribe button right now. So the first tip I have for you is this. Forget about trying to control the trumpet to play lip slurs and focus on controlling your body. That's something that you've been doing your whole life. So let's start there. One thing that you'll need to learn how to control is your wind speed. You'll need to become very good at moving fast wind and slowing your wind down. I compare fast wind to playing higher notes and slower wind to playing lower sounding notes. To help you become aware of the mechanics of this, simply blow cold air into the palm of your hand. Do it right now like this. Now blow warm air into the palm of your hand. Do it with me right now. If you pay attention to the difference in the way your mouth is shaped when you blow cold air compared to warm air, that's something you want to pay attention to. Playing higher notes on the trumpet is similar. Now we're talking about playing slurs here, so typically you are going to be coming or going from a higher note to a lower note. The next thing you need to become keenly aware of is your tongue position inside of your mouth. A lot of times you hear trumpet teachers say, E, ah, uh, there's a good reason for that. That's where your tongue should be positioned. When, when you say E, where, what is your tongue doing? When you say ah, where's your tongue position? Now, I wanna give you a different way to think about it. Same concept. If you're able to whistle, whistle a high note, and then whistle a low note. Now, if you're able to slide up from the low note to the high note, do that now. And if you're able to go backwards, high to low, do that now. All right, in each case, where was your tongue positioned? I want you to think about that. Where was the tip of your tongue located when you were whistling those, those sounds? How did the tip of your tongue change as you go from high to low? How did the tip of your tongue change as you go from low to high? What's the center of your tongue doing? How does it change when you go from high to low? And again, when you go from low to high, how does the center of your tongue change? These are uh, sensations I want you to, to think about and become aware of, because when you're playing the trumpet, it's the same uh, sensations, it should be at least. So when we put these two concepts together, our wind control, pair it up with our tongue position, now we have better understanding on how to uh, get the desired results we want out of the trumpet in order to play a slur. And again, we're controlling our body and the trumpet it just bows to us because it has no choice. There's another thing I want to bring to your attention. When I'm whistling, if you pay attention to uh, my chin and my jaw area here, and I'm changing from high to low and vice versa, there's not much movement. The same should be true when you play your trumpet. Listen in and watch this. Now, if you can see inside of my mouth, my tongue is really at work doing all of, all of the heavy lifting, if you will. But right here in my, in my uh, jaw, my chin, there's not much movement there. Pay attention to that. You wanna replicate that once we bring the trumpet into play. Now I recommend that you, uh, after you practice with your body alone, that you introduce the mouthpiece. And that's so you can really hear and feel uh, how your wind is working. Uh, the mouthpiece will telegraph uh, if you're pushing your wind incorrectly or if you're doing it right. So something that I've witnessed with a lot of students over time, some people don't uh, blow through, and as a result, there's a break. So 
when and if you experience a break, blow through the break. Don't stop at the point of resistance, blow through the resistance. Uh, now, while I say that, it's also important to know that this is, um, this is just something that you are persistent in. You don't really want to muscle your way through it. You don't, it's not all about brute force here. It's just about being persistent. Very matter of fact, my win is going straight forward. This resistance isn't going to stop it. Here's a demonstration of what may occur. <laughs> Something like that. Um, just remember what we did before we introduced the mouthpiece. The wind was constant. The tongue, uh, if we're going low to high, the tongue is slowly arcing up and forward. <sighs> There you go. Now, when you bring uh, the trumpet into play, it's gonna be a lot harder to do a gradual gliss like that. So just do a gliss, but uh, triple time. <coughs> or, <coughs> and eventually, you know, it gets shorter to. <gasps> All right, so you've been doing good so far. It's time to bring the trumpet into play now. And the main thing I want to uh, advise you against is to put too much thought into the trumpet. Remember, our body's the real instrument. That's what we control, we control our body. When we do a good job of controlling our body, the trumpet will sound the way we desire it to sound. All right, so with that said, let's put all those concepts together into the horn. So warm air into cold air or slow air into fast air. Same concept, okay? Uh, low tongue into a high tongue arc for a low note into a high note. And we're just persistent with that, all right? So here we go from low C to G. Again. That's all it is, from G up to C. And one more time from C up to E. And from E up to G if you're able. And let's put all of them together for those who are able to do that. Do it again, go up and then come right back down. I have another tip for you, which is this. Keep the horn on your face. Uh, there's something to practicing more often than you don't practice. I'm careful to say practice every day because we are human beings and we're not perfect, but practice more often than you don't and you'll be in good shape. Literally, you'll be in good shape. And that's a key part to being able to perform trumpet the way you want to perform. I wanna let you know there are two or three other videos on this topic. So if you want further instruction on how to play lip slurs better, then go ahead and click on the card right here in the video.